Carol Bryan's journey through the world of cosmetic procedures took a tragic turn, resulting in devastation beyond imagination. What began as a desire to enhance her facial features with dermal filler injections in 2009 ended in a nightmare, leaving her unrecognizable and permanently blind in one eye. At 47, Carol's pursuit of a more youthful appearance led her to undergo filler injections, unaware that a combination of two different types, including silicone, had been injected into her forehead and cheeks. The aftermath was beyond her worst fears, with her face becoming distorted, swollen, and unrecognizable. Despite frantic attempts to rectify the damage, Carol's appearance continued to deteriorate, plunging her life into a living nightmare. The overwhelming despair led her to contemplate suicide, withdrawing from the world and allowing only her daughter to witness the devastating transformation. In 2013, seeking help from a craniofacial expert, Carol underwent complex surgery, but tragically, it resulted in irreversible damage to her optic nerve, leaving her blind in one eye. Subsequent surgeries, including skin grafts and a partial facial transplant, followed. Today, at 58, Carol grapples with extreme self-consciousness, having lost hope for romantic pursuits and facing the lasting consequences of her cosmetic procedure gone awry. Her story serves as a poignant reminder of the profound risks associated with cosmetic interventions and the importance of thorough research and caution before undergoing such procedures. My new job will be someone who edits Photoshop photos of stars. Recently, I discovered some very interesting documents. Tara McConaughey, a 33-year-old woman from Melbourne, Australia, has attracted attention with her extremely unique appearance after a series of surgeries worth $200,000 or the equivalent of 85,500 currency exchanges. Striding confidently around the city, she showcased a series of enhancements to her appearance after reportedly undergoing another nose job in a colorful fur coat. Tara made a bold statement, revealing a low-key cleavage-enhancing surgery, shown off in a crop top paired with leather pants. Known as Human Barbie, Tara amassed an impressive list of cosmetic procedures including five breast augmentations, six nose jobs, and multiple rounds of Botox and filler injections. Tara has also appeared on television shows such as Botched and Todd Sampson's Mirror Mirror, in which she played an upgraded version of a Barbie doll. Despite undergoing multiple surgeries, Tara continues to seek enhancement and has expressed a desire to increase her breast size to 15C, see a number much larger than the current size. However, Tara's pursuit also suffered a setback when doctors considered her to be too low in weight, issuing warnings about the risks of larger breast implants. Even so, the limitless possibilities of cosmetic surgery continue to challenge and fascinate Tara. Don't rush to escape this boring video and forget comment number two. I will change it if I know you hate it. Hang Miyoku, addictive behavior can lead to risky paths, as seen in Hang Miyoku's case. She developed an obsession with plastic surgery that had tragic results. Initially a successful model and singer, Hang's journey into cosmetic enhancements began at 28. Driven by a quest for flawless skin, she even moved to Japan for multiple procedures. Over time, her relentless pursuit of perfection pushed medical professionals to refuse further surgeries. Returning to Kurika, her transformation was so extreme that her own parents couldn't recognize her. Though she initially sought psychiatric help, she stopped attending sessions and sought a plastic surgeon willing to continue her treatment. She eventually found a surgeon who provided silicone injections and the necessary supplies, including silicone and syringes, for self-administration. When she ran out of supplies, she resorted to injecting cooking oil into her face in desperation, leading to severe swelling, scarring, and disfigurement. Her story garnered public sympathy, with donations made to help her regain her appearance. However, despite undergoing 10 surgeries, only some of the substances were removed and her face size was reduced. In her 60 AS, Hang now works in a second-hand clothing store and relies on state assistance. 
Her deepest hope is to restore her original face, serving as a poignant reminder of the devastating consequences of her plastic surgery addiction. Mickey Rourke Mickey Rourke's plastic surgery journey is distinct from that of many other celebrities seeking facial rejuvenation. He didn't opt for cosmetic enhancements to combat the aging process. Rather, his decision was driven by severe facial injuries sustained during his boxing career in the 1990s. Rourke, a seasoned actor, transitioned into professional boxing, a sport he had been passionate about since his preteen years. He enjoyed success as an amateur boxer, boasting an impressive record of 12 consecutive knockouts between the 1960s and 1970i. Becoming a professional boxer proved to be a fruitful decision as he remained undefeated in eight fights, securing six wins with four knockouts and two draws. However, the toll on his face was significant. Rourke endured two broken noses, a split tongue, a compressed cheekbone, and even short-term memory loss. The man we once recognized from our TV screens underwent multiple reconstructive surgeries to restore his facial features. Unfortunately, he was dissatisfied with the results, which led to a series of subsequent surgeries. As a result, Mickey Rourke is now virtually unrecognizable. To address the damage he suffered, Rourke underwent five nose operations and one procedure to repair his damaged cheekbone. Most of these surgeries aim to rectify the injuries he sustained during his boxing career. However, Rourke candidly admitted that he made an unfortunate choice in the surgeon responsible for reconstructing his face. Anastasia Pokreshchuk, originally hailing from Kiev, Ukraine, embarked on a journey of multiple cosmetic procedures, including Botox, veneers, chin and jaw reshaping, and liposuction. While these may seem like fairly routine procedures in the world of cosmetics, the astonishing aspect emerges when you witness the finished results of her transformations. Anastasia began her foray into cosmetic enhancements at the age of 26, a decision that set her on an unconventional path. What distinguishes her story is the fact that she took it upon herself to administer filler injections frequently, relying on online tutorials to guide her through the process. She boldly claims to adhere to stringent sterilization procedures for her equipment and administers the substance in a manner akin to a medical professional attending to a patient. Her conviction in her abilities is resolute. As a consequence of her relentless pursuit of cosmetic perfection through filler injections, Anastasia has found herself bearing excessively prominent cheeks, a distinctive feature she is resolute on maintaining. In fact, she even sought to secure the title of having the world's most prominent cheeks. In a 2020 interview, she declared her unwavering commitment to self-administering fillers, even in the face of warnings from concerned medical professionals who expressed their despair at her choices. Raji Naranezing, a versatile American figure, rose to prominence through her involvement in various fields such as acting, LGBT advocacy, writing, singing, and reality TV. However, her journey took a challenging turn when she appeared on the E! Channel Entertainment Show Botched, seeking to rectify cement-like substances injected into her face, breasts, and hips by an unlicensed practitioner. Despite initial complications, subsequent interventions on the show helped remove a significant portion of the problematic material. Nuranezing's diverse heritage, rooted in the Dogla ethnic group, reflects her Indo-Trinidadian, French, Afro-Trinidadian, and Polynesian ancestry. Embracing her identity as a transgender woman in the late 1990s marked a profound personal revelation. In 2005, Naranazingen turned to the Duchess O'Neill Ron Morris, a prominent figure in Miami's transgender community, for filler injections.
However, the substances used, including concrete, tire sealant, mineral oil, and glue, led to adverse reactions and complications, challenging Narina Singh's self-image and confidence. Her journey highlights the importance of informed and safe cosmetic procedures, while showcasing her resilience in overcoming adversity. Lindsay Colosimo, a 38-year-old woman hailing from Florida, embarked on a transformative journey as her 40th birthday loomed. Opting for cosmetic procedures including a tummy tuck, breast reduction, and bum lift, she sought to enhance her appearance. Little did she know, this decision would plunge her into a harrowing ordeal. After a lengthy 5-in-1-2-hour slash surgery, Lindsay awoke to agonizing pain and confusion only to find herself unattended by medical staff. Alarmed by numbness in her legs and the discovery of a concerning black spot beneath her bandages, she sensed something had gone terribly awry. Diagnosed with necrosis, a condition resulting from tissue death due to injury or blood supply issues, Lindsay's journey took a dark turn. Enduring corrective surgeries to combat the spreading infection, including the removal of her nipple and milk ducts, Lindsay's nightmare persisted with new wounds and signs of infection emerging. Upon her return to the U.S., she urgently sought medical aid, revealing a bacterial infection necessitating further procedures to preserve her life. Despite facing a daunting medical bill far beyond her expectations, Lindsay emerged alive, albeit scarred, and on the path to recovery. Her story stands as a stark reminder of the risks associated with the pursuit of perfection, cautioning others against the allure of cosmetic enhancements without fully grasping the potential consequences. Pete Burns, the former frontman of the British band Dead or Alive, was known not just for his musical prowess, but also for his extreme fixation on plastic surgery. Throughout his adult life, Burns relentlessly pursued perfection, ultimately depleting most of his life savings in the process. His journey into transformation began with a simple surgical correction of a broken nose. However, this initial procedure sparked a series of enhancements as Burns became increasingly fixated on achieving a striking visual presence. Over the years, he underwent nearly 300 corrective surgeries, a staggering number that left many astounded. While most struggled to recover from one major operation, Burns faced a relentless cycle of procedures, often exacerbated by unfortunate mishaps leading to infections. Despite warnings from doctors about the endless nature of his obsession, Burns remained undeterred. His relentless pursuit of aesthetic perfection seemed unyielding. Tragically, his quest was abruptly cut short by natural causes, marking the end of an extraordinary and tumultuous chapter. Nevertheless, Thurn's story serves as a testament to the lengths some individuals will go to in order to express their uniqueness and stand out from the crowd, even at great personal cost. Stars getting plastic surgery is like playing guess, who the only difference is that sometimes, of course, the answer isn't are you the one with the round nose? Dennis Avner, famously known as Catman, hailed from Michigan and led a life that pushed the boundaries of societal norms. Not only was he a computer scientist, but he was also a Navy veteran deeply entrenched in his fascination with body modifications. Avner's transformative journey began at the age of 23 when he sought counsel from a shaman who advised him to embrace a feline transformation rooted in his Native American heritage. Embracing this advice with pride, Avner took on the moniker Stalking Cat and embarked on a path of extensive tattooing across his face and body. However, tattoo is the beginning of Avner's extraordinary metamorphosis. Teaming up with body modification specialists Steve Howarth and Shannon Larratt, he underwent an astonishing total of 14 surgeries. Avner spared no expense in his quest to resemble a creature akin to a tiger, 
opting for subdermal facial implants, a flattened nose, pointed ears, and even a mechanized tail. Despite his drastic physical alterations, Avner continued to live a relatively normal life, maintaining his career as a computer programmer. His unique appearance catapulted him into the public eye, earning him appearances on major television shows like Larry King, Live and Ripley's, Believe It or Not. In 2008, Avner achieved a remarkable milestone by earning a Guinness World Record for undergoing the most permanent transformation to resemble an animal. His story stands as a testament to the human capacity for self-expression and the allure of the extraordinary, reminding us that he was not alone in his pursuit of the extreme. Maybe some celebrities should consider switching careers to become scientists instead of plastic surgery guinea pigs. Donatella Versace, the iconic fashion maven, has left an indelible mark on the world of style and beauty. Yet, beneath her glamorous facade lies a story of unyielding pursuit of perfection with a penchant for cosmetic enhancements that has fascinated and intrigued many. From her formative years, Donatella displayed a fascination with beauty and aesthetics. At the tender age of 11, she took her first step towards transformation by lightening her hair, influenced by her brother Gianni's encouragement. This initial change was just the beginning of her journey towards altering her appearance to match her vision of beauty. Over time, it became apparent that Donatella had become heavily reliant on cosmetic procedures. Specialists have disclosed her extensive use of Botox, fillers, and laser treatments, which have led to significant alterations in her facial features. Plastic surgeon Dr. Steve Fallick confirmed the multitude of procedures Donatella has undergone, contributing to her striking but heavily altered appearance. Despite public scrutiny and speculation surrounding her transformations, Donatella remains unapologetic about her choices. In a candid interview with Love magazine, she expressed her preference for a more enhanced look, dismissing the notion of natural beauty as akin to vegetables a sentiment that underscores her belief in the power of self-expression and personal aesthetics. For Donatella, embracing one's desired aesthetic is paramount, regardless of societal norms or expectations. Her journey serves as a testament to the transformative power of self-expression, challenging conventional beauty standards and redefining glamour on her own terms. Jackie Stallone is an American astrologer, dancer, and wrestling promoter. She's the mother of actor Sylvester Stallone, singer Frank Stallone and actress Tony. She recently shared her candid thoughts about post-plastic surgery regrets. She describes her unsuccessful procedures as leaving her looking like a chipmunk with a piece of walnut in her mouth. In an intimate interview, she also discussed her recent health scare, suffering a heart attack and the challenges of coping with the tragic deaths of her daughter, Tony and grandson Sage. Both, both happened at her house. Despite these difficulties, Jackie still leads an active lifestyle in a luxury apartment in Santa Monica near the ocean. She takes tap dance classes three times a week, two sessions per week with a personal trainer, and spends two hours a day playing the piano. Not one to partake in lavish Hollywood parties, Jackie Chan believes in setting an example for the elderly, commenting, I became a role model for movie stars when I turned 50 because aging and prosperity is their greatest fear. But as I get older, I become more popular. Sadly, she passed away in 2020 at the age of 99. Michael Jackson's journey through plastic surgery is as iconic as his music career. A comparison of photos from his youth to his final images before his passing in 2009 reveals a profound transformation. Reports suggest that Jackson underwent numerous procedures, aiming to refine his appearance and correct previous surgeries. His quest for perfection began with nose refinement. Legend has it that he even asked his sister Latoya to undergo the procedure first as a test of its success. Once satisfied, 
he embarked on his own surgical journey in 1979, setting the stage for a series of transformative procedures. Experts speculate that Jackson may have undergone up to 100 surgeries, including nose jobs, cheek implants, eyelid surgery, and chin augmentation. Dr. Wallace Goodstein, who worked closely with Jackson's surgeons, revealed the extent of his frequent visits, sometimes undergoing a dozen procedures in one sitting. Jackson's dedication to his aesthetic vision was unparalleled. He once expressed to reap and enjoy the fruits of my talents for myself would be selfish. His legacy not only lives on through his music, but also through the enduring fascination with his ever-evolving appearance. Jessica Alves, formerly known as Rodrigo Alves, is a Brazilian-British television personality famous for her extensive cosmetic transformations. Born on July 30, the 1983 in Sao Paulo, Brazil, to a Brazilian mother and a British father, Rosa Val Elvis. Her father's family history traces back to European immigration to Brazil in the 1940s. Initially engaged in agriculture before venturing into supermarkets, shopping malls, and real estate. From a tender age, Jessica identified as feminine, finding solace in playing with Barbie dolls gifted by her grandfather. Despite being assigned male at birth, she expressed her gender identity through cross-dressing and doll play. Jessica firmly believes in the fluidity of gender and rejects its rigid categorization. During adolescence, Jessica faced a hormone imbalance, leading to excessive estrogen levels and the development of breast tissue. This hormonal imbalance, coupled with her unique characteristics, subjected her to bullying. Over the years, Jessica underwent over 103 cosmetic procedures, including multiple nose surgeries that resulted in the loss of her sense of smell. Her transformative journey involved a staggering 51 plastic surgeries, totaling over $650,000 as of 2018. Despite the physical and emotional challenges, Jessica remains resolute in her quest for self-expression and identity. Linda Evangelista, a famous Canadian fashion model with more than 700 magazine covers to her name, recently experienced an unexpected result after a plastic surgery. Despite her enduring beauty, her appearance had noticeably changed due to what she described as a brutal facial disfiguring experience during cosmetic treatment. Lured by cool sculpting ads promising fat loss without surgery and no downtime, Linda decided to try this method. In her own words, she admits she's a bit vain, trying to target stubborn spots. However, Linda's encounter with cool sculpting did not go as expected. The FDA-approved procedure is effective for many people, but did not produce the desired results for Linda. After seven cool sculpting sessions from 2015 to 2016, instead of losing weight, she began to notice bulges in her bra area, chin, and thighs. These areas not only grow, but also stiffen and become numb. Seeking medical advice, Linda received a diagnosis of paradoxical lipohyperplasia, a rare condition that affects less than 1% of cool sculpting patients. This diagnosis means that traditional methods such as diet and exercise will not correct the problem. In response to her ordeal, Linda filed a lawsuit against the parent company, Zeltik Aesthetics Incorporated, seeking $50 million in damages. Despite her setback, Linda's courage to speak out serves as a cautionary tale about the potential risks associated with cosmetic procedures. Sharon Osborne, known for her candid discussions about cosmetic procedures, has undergone many enhancements over the years, but has now decided to end this journey. Her decision was influenced by her last experience, a facelift in 2021 at age 70, which, in her words, made her look like a worthy cyclops. Scared, the suffering from this procedure caused her to reconsider further surgeries. Admitting that time was not in her favor, Sharon couldn't risk another facelift after her final ordeal, which lasted five and a half hours and left her feeling terrible afterwards. 
She even expressed concerns to her surgeon about one eye looking different from the other. Although it seems like Sharon is stopping plastic surgery, she has had a significant number of surgeries. In her autobiography, Unbreakable, published in 2013, she candidly shared that she had corrections, rejuvenation, peels, laser treatments, masking, enhancements, or removals done whenever she felt the need. Priscilla Presley, renowned for her association with Elvis Presley and her thriving business ventures, has long been a topic of speculation regarding potential plastic surgery. However, the specifics of these procedures remain shrouded in mystery as Priscilla has neither confirmed nor denied them. Several doctors who have analyzed her photos without treating her have offered their professional insights. Dr. Dave David noted an apparent overuse of cheek filler impacting her ability to fully open her eyes. Dr. Anthony Yoon suggested signs of a facelift, while other experts hinted at possible skin resurfacing treatments with potentially irreversible consequences. Moreover, there are rumors suggesting that Priscilla may have fallen prey to an unlicensed cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Daniel Serrano. Operating at Hollywood gatherings, Serrano falsely boasted about the superiority of his injections over Botox. However, these injections contained industrial-grade silicone, primarily utilized for lubricating car parts, posing serious health hazards. April Michelle Brown's quest for beauty took a harrowing turn when she decided to undergo buttock injections from an underground practitioner. Little did she know that this seemingly simple procedure would spiral into a nightmare, leading to the amputation of her hands and feet. Motivated by a desire to enhance her appearance, April sought out this procedure, unaware of the dangers lurking beneath the surface. The use of industrial-grade silicone, similar to that found in bathroom sealant, caused catastrophic damage and triggered a severe infection that threatened her life. April's story is a cautionary tale, highlighting the grave risks associated with unregulated plastic surgery. Trusting untrained individuals with one's life can have devastating consequences, as April tragically experienced. In the aftermath, April endured a staggering 27 surgeries to remove the affected areas and combat the spread of infection. Despite feeling defeated, she refused to give up, showing remarkable resilience as she adapted to her new reality with prosthetics. Her journey serves as a sobering reminder of the allure of cost-saving surgeries in the black market, which often leads to dire consequences. April's determination to embrace her new normal is a testament to the strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Through her ordeal, April has learned never to take her body for granted again. Her courage and resilience stand as an inspiration, reminding us all to prioritize safety and caution when it comes to cosmetic procedures. Reality TV personality Farah Abraham known for her appearances on Teen Mom OG, has always been open about her experiences with plastic surgery. However, a selfie she shared in 2022 revealed the extent to which she had altered her appearance. In the Instagram story, Farah was pictured in front of her festively adorned Christmas tree, but her face appeared remarkably different. Her skin looked incredibly smooth, and her cheeks and lips appeared noticeably fuller. After the image circulated on the Teen Mom Reddit community, some fans expressed concern about Farah's transformed appearance. One commenter regretted the extensive procedures, wishing she had stopped after her initial nose job, 
as they believed she was naturally beautiful. Another echoed this sentiment, stating that Farah was stunning before all the alterations. Since her debut on Emma TV 16 and Pregnant in 2019, Farah has been transparent about her plastic surgery journey. Her procedures have included a breast augmentation in 2010, a rhinoplasty and chin implant in 2013, and various attempts at lip and butt injections. Despite receiving mixed reactions from fans, Farah has often expressed satisfaction with her transformed appearance. In August 2022, an Instagram video featuring Farah participating in the Tortilla Challenge with her daughter sparked attention, with many viewers commenting on her noticeably altered face. As of now, Farah has not addressed whether she has undergone any additional cosmetic procedures recently. However, as is often the case with celebrities, they tend to keep such matters private. Rachel Napier's story serves as a cautionary tale in the era of Kardashian-inspired beauty trends. At 29, Rachel attended what was advertised as a Botox and filler party, enticed by the promise of affordable lip fillers. However, her gusuzin would soon lead to life-changing consequences. During the procedure, the beautician mistakenly injected filler into an artery, causing immediate complications. Rachel woke up to excruciating pain as her lips swelled to four times their normal size, even touching her nose. Rushed to the hospital, Rachel faced shocked medical staff who had never seen such a severe reaction. Three doctors confirmed that the filler had been injected into an artery, leaving Rachel with a daunting ultimatum, remove the filler or lose her lips. Enduring a lengthy and agonizing procedure, it took over three months for Rachel's lips to return to normal. Her harrowing experience didn't end there. Rachel's journey was marked by pain, uncertainty, and physical distress. However, she courageously shared her story to raise awareness about the risks of cosmetic procedures. Becoming an ambassador for safety and beauty, Rachel advocated for stricter regulations and awareness campaigns in. Her efforts included spreading petitions to ban unqualified individuals from performing aesthetic procedures and lobbying government affinement officials. Through her advocacy, Rachel hoped to spare others from suffering similar fates. Simon Cowell, the iconic personality and record executive known for his contributions to globally acclaimed shows such as The X Factor and Got Talent, has recently undergone a noticeable transformation, sparking intense speculation about potential plastic surgery. In a candid revelation in 2023, Cowell admitted to undergoing cosmetic procedures in his quest for a more youthful appearance. However, the results left him virtually unrecognizable drawing comparisons to characters straight out of a horror film. The news of Cowell's cosmetic enhancements not only took the public by surprise, but also deeply affected his young son, Eric, who reportedly struggled to come to terms with his father's altered appearance. In response, Cowell took proactive measures to address the situation. He opted to have some of the fillers from his procedures removed and shifted his focus to more subtle facial treatments rather than drastic alterations. Moreover, Cowell ill emphasized the importance of adopting a healthier lifestyle. He now follows a balanced diet, places a strong emphasis on staying hydrated through increased water intake, and prioritizes overall well-being over mere physical appearance. This shift reflects Cowell's commitment to embracing a more sustainable and holistic approach to health and self-care, resonating with the values deeply ingrained in American culture. Nevin Saganov, a 45-year-old Croatian celebrity stylist and reality TV personality, has made waves in the world of cosmetic surgery. Recently, he made headlines for a rather unusual side effect from his latest procedure, a persistent erection. Opting for his third nasal operation in an Iranian clinic due to cost considerations, Saganov had to abruptly return to Belgrade when faced with this unexpected complication. 
This continuous erection is a rare condition known as priapism, triggered by an allergic reaction to the anesthetic. Urgent attention is crucial in such cases, as highlighted by the French Association of Virology. Proper management is essential to prevent complications and irreversible erectile dysfunction. Despite this unexpected turn of events, Neven Saganovi remains undeterred in his pursuit of aesthetic perfection. He's still determined to undergo just one more procedure to achieve his desired appearance and gain global recognition. Cardi B, known for her music that resonates with both young and older audiences, is as outspoken as her song lyrics. What sets her apart is her willingness to openly discuss her plastic surgery experiences, including the mistakes she's made along the way. During an Instagram Live session, Cardi B revealed that she recently underwent surgery to remove her butt implants, which were primarily composed of 95% biopolymer. She described the process as quite challenging and offered a strong warning to her followers, never under any circumstances opt for this procedure. Cardi B shared that she had felt pressured into getting the implants during her time as a stripper and had paid just $800 to have them done by someone in a base basement. This procedure is perilous because the filler can spread throughout the body and the person who performed Cardi B's procedure was reportedly linked to a tragic incident where a woman passed away due to the injections administered. It's important to note that Cardi B's aversion to biopolymers doesn't mean she is against plastic surgery altogether. She has openly admitted to having a nose job, explaining that she disliked her father's nose and chose to change it. Cardi B firmly believes that if you're unhappy with an aspect of yourself, it's perfectly acceptable to make alterations, but it's crucial to do so safely. Katie Price, British model and media personality. She openly admits to many cosmetic surgeries and does not hesitate to talk about her extensive changes that have accumulated over the years. Throughout her modeling career, Katie has always maintained a natural look. It wasn't until she turned 30 that she decided to make a change and now, at 45, she's doing whatever she wants without regret. Her journey began in 1999 when she significantly enhanced her bust from 32B to 32DDN corrected the shape of her nose. By 2006, as she was well on her way to becoming completely plastic, and by 2011, she was proudly embracing it. Katie's transformation continues to become more and more dramatic as time goes on. In 2016, she chose plump lips and a smoother, more shiny face. Just two years later, her appearance at the National Television Awards was so different as to be almost unrecognizable. Her level of surgery has increased, including annual breast augmentations starting in 2019, and each of her breast implants is estimated to weigh about 4.4 pounds. This has raised concerns among plastic surgeons about her overall health. One doctor, Dr. Dostophylax, expressed concern about the frequency and extent of Katie's surgery noting that it could be a potential cause for concern. Katie has remained realistic about how she talks about her transformation, but some observers find the situation concerning. Jordan James Park, also known as the British Lip King, is a 27-year-old from Birmingham who gained fame for his extreme plastic surgery transformations inspired by Kim Kardashian. Spending a staggering $170,000 or 18,000 euros, Jordan's quest to emulate his idol has made headlines worldwide. Jordan first gained attention in 2015 when he appeared on the reality series Botch due to a lip job gone wrong, resulting in leaking fillers. Undeterred, he returned for further procedures, including liposuction and multiple nose jobs. Despite his persistence, renowned surgeons Dr. Paul Nassif and Dr. Terry Dubrow were amazed by Jordan's transformation but refused to perform additional surgeries. His extensive list of procedures includes four nose jobs, 
upper eyelid surgery, a lip lift, a chin implant, and multiple rounds of liposuction. Jordan described his approach to plastic surgery as a continuous process, likening it to an addiction where one keeps going back for more. Although advised against further surgeries due to potential complications, Jordan remains unapologetic about his appearance, finding solace and identity in his transformed look, even if it defies conventional beauty standards. Despite the challenges he has faced, Jordan continues to embrace his unique personality and appearance. In the modern technological age, you can have a new face in just a few seconds with photo editing apps. But of course, no one expected that the result would be the same as those photos. Barbara Eden, once the enchanting genie on television screens in I Dream of Genie, continues to captivate audiences with her timeless beauty. Born in 1931, Barbara's age-defying appearance, particularly her radiant and unblemished skin well into her ADS, has sparked speculation about possible cosmetic enhancements. Many have pondered whether Barbara has undergone plastic surgery to maintain her youthful look. Some theories suggest interventions like Botox to smooth wrinkles or facelift surgery to address sagging skin. However, Barbara's appearance doesn't exhibit the typical signs associated with these procedures, such as an overly shiny or unnatural appearance from Botox or a tightness often seen with facelifts. Additionally, scrutiny extends to her chest, where aging typically leads to some degree of sagging. Yet Barbara's choice of attire reveals a seemingly youthful bust that defies gravity. Ultimately, whether Barbara has undergone aesthetic enhancements or has simply mastered the art of maintaining her timeless beauty remains a subject of speculation and admiration. It is rumored that having cosmetic surgery helps stars save a significant amount of money. If you don't calculate carefully, you may have to save even more to compensate for the consequences. Only Jocelyn Wildenstein, affectionately known as Catwoman for her unique feline-inspired look, stands out in her ADS defying conventional beauty standards. But hold on to your hats, folks, because here's the scoop. She claims her distinct appearance is not the result of countless cosmetic surgeries, but a gift from her parents, her Swiss products. Yes, you heard that, right? Swiss cheese, Swiss watches, and Swiss beauty secrets Talk about a revelation, but please wait a little longer. Rumor has it that Jocelyn may have spent a small fortune on a multi-million dollar surgery just to give her those seductive cat-like eyes. I mean, who wouldn't want a makeover like that? Despite Jocelyn's claims that her skin is as naturally smooth as Swiss chocolate, the skeptics out there can't shake the feeling that there's more to the story. Did she do that or not? That's the big question on everyone's mind. So guys, it's at the way in. Is it all just Swiss genetics, or is there more to this story than meets the eye? Let's listen to your thoughts. Heidi Montag, known for her role in Laguna Beach, learned a crucial lesson the hard way. Free doesn't always mean right. She dove headfirst into an extensive plastic surgery journey that she now deeply regrets. It all began with an enticing offer for complimentary cosmetic enhancements, promising thousands of dollars worth of procedures at no cost. But the reality was far from what she had anticipated. In a grueling 16-hour surgery, Heidi underwent a total of 10 procedures in a single day. To compound matters, she was administered an excessive amount of opioid pain medication pushing her to the brink of physical and emotional fragility during her lengthy recovery period. At just 23 years old, she had already undergone a slew of procedures, including a bro lift, chin reduction, and Botox injections. Heidi now realizes that she never truly needed these surgeries. Her advice to those contemplating plastic surgery due to insecurities about their appearance is to seek guidance from professionals and loved ones, 
delving into the root causes of their feelings. While Haiti doesn't discount the potential benefits of plastic surgery, she aims to shed light on the less glamorous aspects of body alteration. She emphasizes that the journey often involves unseen challenges and hardships, far beyond the before and after snapshots that dominate the public eye. Joan Van Ark, a famous actress, has always been tight-lipped about her plastic surgery journey in public interviews. However, when looking with a trained eye through her photos from years past to more recent snapshots, it's impossible not to notice subtle changes that hint at aesthetic improvements America. In earlier images, Joan exudes natural charm, while in recent images, her face looks noticeably slimmer and more refined. There's a lot of speculation among experts, suggesting procedures ranging from facelifts to collagen injections, cheek implants, Botox, and maybe even a bro lift. Despite her illustrious career in television and film, it is Joan's potential aesthetic transformations that have attracted attention. Observers who encountered Joan in 2020 noted a certain artificiality in her facial features, likening it to melted plastic. Dr. Anthony Yoon, a seasoned plastic surgeon, has weighed in on the issue, suggesting that Joan's dramatic metamorphosis may be due to extensive surgical interventions possibly including multiple facelift surgeries that result in a tightened neckline and jawline. Dr. Yoon also points out the absence of wrinkles and a noticeably smooth forehead, signs that may suggest Botox injections and a brow lift. Although confirmation of any surgical procedure would require Joan's own admission, considerable speculation surrounding the subject hints at a kernel of truth. People often say where there is smoke, there is fire, implying that beneath the surface there is a story waiting to be told. Carrot Top, Hop whose real name is Scott Thompson, is a beloved actor and stand-up comedian known for his vibrant personality and stellar performances on stage. With memorable appearances on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno and as the announcer for Cartoon Network, he solidified his place in the entertainment industry. As Carrot Top entered his 50s, his physical appearance underwent noticeable changes, prompting speculation about potential plastic surgery. From being slim to muscular and back to slim again, observers couldn't help but wonder if these transformations were the result of lifestyle choices or cosmetic procedures. However, Carrot Top vehemently denies any involvement in plastic surgery attributing his well-toned face and chiseled jawline to lifestyle changes and a dedicated workout routine. With his trademark humor, he jokes that if he were to go under the knife, he'd probably come out looking even better. But in all seriousness, he asserts that he's never undergone any such procedures, confidently owning his natural appearance. Pixie Fox's relentless pursuit of becoming a living cartoon character led her down the path of extreme plastic surgery, making her a notable figure in the world of transformative procedures. Hailing from North Carolina and now 33 years old, Pixie Fox has undergone a series of incredible treatments, including a jaw surgery to get a smaller face, ear surgery for an elf-like appearance and a removed six ribs. Her transformation journey also included four breast augmentations, multiple lip injections, fat injections under her eyes, two liposuction surgeries, eyebrow and buttock lifts, and eye surgery to change her eye color. With more than 20 cosmetic surgery methods, Pixie Fox's determination to look like a lively cartoon character is unwavering. However, her extreme journey hit a roadblock when doctors Terry Dubrow and Paul Nassif who appeared on the TV show botched steadfastly refused to perform further surgeries on her. Despite this setback, Pixie Fox remains steadfast in her vision and has expressed a desire to undergo additional procedures, including public eyelash implants and a unique genital transformation that she calls baby flower. Pixie Fox's extraordinary journey pushes the boundaries of conventional appearance standards, revealing the lengths some individuals are willing to go to achieve their desired appearance.
Zhu Chuna, a 17-year-old influencer in China, became famous on the social media platform Weibo, where she documented her extensive plastic surgery journey. Over the course of three years, Chu underwent more than 100 surgeries, starting at age 13. Initially facing taunts and taunts from his classmates, Chu sought to improve his life by changing his appearance, convincing his parents to fund his first double eyelid surgery. After noticing a significant change in the way she was treated after the initial procedure, Xiao went on to undergo various surgeries, including fillers, rhinoplasty, Barbie eye surgery, breast implants, and liposuction. Although the COVID-19 pandemic has slowed down the pace of her surgeries, in the past year alone, Xiao has performed 20 surgeries. Despite serious side effects such as memory loss and permanent scarring, Chu believes it was all worth it. Her parents reportedly spent more than $620,000 on her surgeries, with Chu even threatening to drop out of school if they didn't fund her surgeries. Zhu Chuna's journey is a vivid example of the complex dynamic between self-image, social pressure, and the constant pursuit of beauty. Yulia Tarasevich's cosmetic surgery journey took a harrowing turn when a procedure meant to enhance her appearance left her unable to close her eyes or smile. Seeking a facelift, blepharoplasty, eyelid correction, and mini liposuction at a clinic in Kedar, the 43-year-old Russian beauty queen experienced unexpected complications. Instead of subtle improvements, Yulia's face swelled dramatically, leading to functional impairments and scarring. Unable to close her eyes, she faced significant challenges and discomfort in her daily life. Yulia took legal action against the doctors responsible, alleging negligence in the procedures. The physicians, Andrei Kov and Omar Ked, attributed the complications to a rare genetic condition called scleroderma, which causes skin hardening and can affect internal organs. However, Yulia refutes this claim, pointing out that she had no such issues in previous surgeries. Despite spending a significant amount on corrective procedures, Yulia acknowledges that she may never fully regain her pre-surgery appearance. The ordeal serves as a cautionary tale about the risks associated with cosmetic enhancements and the importance of thorough research and consideration before undergoing such procedures. Lynn May originally known as Lilia Guadalupe Mola Mayares, captured the hearts of audiences in Mexico and Latin America during the 1970s at Awan 11 Nall Lot Dancer and Actress. However, as the inevitable effects of aging began to show, Lin May sought the rejuvenating touch of cosmetic surgery, marking a significant turning point in her life. Driven by societal pressures and the fear of aging, Lin May made the decision to undergo cosmetic procedures to address a facial abnormality she was born with. Unfortunately, her quest for youth led her down a regrettable path. Falling prey to false promises, she entrusted an amateur to inject baby oil into her cheekbones, unaware of the disastrous consequences that would follow. The aftermath of Lin May's ill-fated cosmetic journey left her nearly unrecognizable, with her face altered by procedures aimed at correcting the initial damage. Widely circulated photos depict the profound changes she underwent, transforming her once natural beauty into a visage marred by disproportion and distortion. This serves as a cautionary tale highlighting the risks associated with cosmetic procedures performed by inexperienced individuals and the importance of thorough research and caution before undergoing such treatments. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. If the video you're watching is interesting, comment number one and otherwise number two. Michaela Romanini's story serves as a cautionary tale in the pursuit of eternal youth, particularly within the realm of celebrity culture. The Italian socialite's journey through plastic surgery has garnered significant attention, 
highlighting both the allure and the risks associated with cosmetic enhancements. Like many celebrities, Mycela sought to maintain a youthful appearance through cosmetic procedures. However, her experience took a dramatic turn, with consequences far from the desired effect. From a young age, she experimented with various treatments, with lip collagen injections becoming a particular favorite. Unfortunately, these injections, intended to enhance her lips, spiraled into an obsession rather than a beauty regimen. The effects of her extensive plastic surgery endeavors are starkly evident in video footage and photo comparisons, showcasing the profound impact on her appearance. Michaela Romanini's story underscores the importance of moderation and careful consideration in the pursuit of cosmetic enhancements. It serves as a reminder of the potential pitfalls and risks associated with excessive reliance on cosmetic procedures, emphasizing the importance of embracing natural beauty and maintaining realistic expectations. Laura Avila's tragic story serves as a poignant reminder of the dangers that can accompany the pursuit of beauty. Seeking affordable cosmetic procedures led her to Mexico, where she hoped to undergo rhinoplasty and breast implant replacement. However, her journey took a devastating turn when she suffered cardiac arrest during anesthesia at the clinic in Ciudad Juarez. Allegations of negligence, including the incorrect placement of anesthesia, resulted in a series of complications for Laura, including brain swelling, kidney failure, and ultimately, cardiac arrest. Her untimely death highlights the importance of thoroughly vetting international medical services and the risks involved in seeking procedures abroad. Laura's fiancé, Enrique, devastated by her loss, is now determined to seek justice for her. Despite their plans for a wedding in Tulum, Mexico, Laura's ashes will instead be scattered in the ocean where their love blossomed. Enrique's pursuit of legal action against those responsible reflects his commitment to holding them accountable for what he believes to be criminal negligence. The video ends here. Remember, there are still many other interesting and engaging videos in my playlist. Before you leave, please leave a comment number one if you found the video interesting, or number two if not. It's that simple, isn't it? Thank you.